All right, welcome back. Pirates, well, they've been out of sight, out of mind, but they did something this week which triggers a little bit of a discussion. Josh, they, to me, it's not a surprise because Trevor Williams has turned into something I never thought he would. Two years ago, I thought he was in, you know, embarking on what would be a solid career, but he's been lousy, so they released him. Jose Asuna, another guy who once figured prominently, no longer. What does this say about them? And they're saving money left and right. They didn't bring Archer back. They save 11 mil. What are they going to do? And I realize pandemic money has to be saved. <laughs> yeah, I know the initial reaction, at least from what I saw on social media, was, oh, typical Pirates, there they go again. Well, if you want to do a real rebuild, then do a real rebuild and don't pay anyone for a year or two. That's fine. And Trevor Williams, very likable guy. And I know he <laughs> had about a season and a half where he was terrific. He was awful this season. So, I don't really blame them for not wanting to pay him. I guess my question for the Pirates is, what is their direction? Are they? We know they're rebuilding. Are they going to come out and say it? A little bit of transparency, I think, can go a long way when you've tortured a fan base for as long as this ownership group has. So rebuild properly. Do it the right way. That's perfectly fine. I don't really have a problem with these moves, but I, I'm just curious to see what they do next because – I don't know what they're doing because they don't really tell us what they're doing. That's exactly what I want to touch on, Josh. And I know we've talked about this many times on this show and on the sports call. Well, I want them to be transparent. Just come out and say we're rebuilding. It's going to go so much further with the fans and us and everyone. Just come out and say it. If you want your own people in there, if Charrington wants to bring his own people in, that's fine. Just do it. That'll, that'll provide some goodwill with the fans. Um, it's, I think it's... Look, I know we say it's uh, it's not all about the money. Some people say it. I think it is. But if you're going to tell me, okay, two more years, we're going to rebuild, and then we're going to be good, and we're going to spend some money, I would buy in. And I think a lot of fans right now would buy into that. So this is, look, first of all, with as far as Williams goes, I think this move shows you the way baseball has evolved. Guys that are finesse pitchers now that pitch to contact get absolutely killed. You've got you've to strike people out, and he couldn't do that. And that's why I'd also trade Stephen Brault because I think he was just a complete fluke last year. I don't see him repeating that in 2021, so I would sell high on him. Bob, I would go out and sign players to one-year contracts, see if there's bargains because of the pandemic pricing, and then flip those guys at the deadline. They've done that before. I mean, that, that's an old pirate kind of strategy. Find veteran players, relievers, bats, and then flip them at July 31st to accelerate your rebuild process. Yeah. They should have done that with a guy like Vasquez before everything fell apart there. That involves spending money, though. That's the problem. Well, that's not going to be that much money. They have nothing to spend. But they're not spend. big risk. They're low risk, high reward moves. That's right. what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, they're down to negative money almost. I don't know where they are in the salary <laughs> scale. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're talking about the Penguins. When are they going to get started? Most likely start date. We'll talk about it next.